Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see the simulation of four quadrant shop of a DC motor drive. Open MATLAB and open Simulink. Let us create a blank model. To draw the circuit, we need four MOSFETs. So type MOSFET. Let us rotate this by using Control R. Now we need four MOSFETs. Let us connect the MOSFETs in the bridge fashion. Then we need to connect diodes in anti parallel. So we need to connect four diodes across four MOSFET switches in anti-parallel direction. Then we need to connect DC machine, DC motor, so type DC machine. And then uh, I will be connecting the A plus terminal and A minus terminal across the output of the bridge. And uh, we need to supply the bridge with a DC voltage source. So let us connect the DC voltage source as input to the bridge. Then uh, uh, we need to supply the field winding also with the help of a constant DC voltage source. The plus terminal of the DC voltage source is connected to the F plus terminal and the minus terminal is connected to the F minus terminal. Now we need to give the uh, pulses for the MOSFET switches. So let us type pulse generator. Double click on the pulse generator and uh, let us have the amplitude to be 5 volts and uh, let the pulse let the period be 10 seconds and the pulse width to be 50 percent and for the first set of switches uh, we'll be having the phase delay as zero so uh, we need to connect the pulse generator to the first and diagonally opposite switches first and the switch so we'll be connecting the gate pulse gate terminal of the This MOSFET also uh, will be connecting the gate pulse as common gate pulse. And uh, uh, let us uh, take one more pulse chain data. Uh, let the period and time period and pulse width to be the same as before. Uh, let the phase delay, we will take it as five seconds, which means that uh, for first five seconds, these two switches will be in the on condition. And for the second uh, five seconds, uh, uh, these two switches will be in the on condition. So let us connect the pulse chain data, the second pulse chain data to the second set of switches. Now uh, we need to measure the output voltage and output current of the chopper so let us have a current measurement block the plus of the current measurement block is connected to the midpoint of the first leg and uh, the minus terminal is connected to the a plus terminal of the dc motor and uh, let us have the torque input to be a constant Dark input. So let us have a constant block and let us choose the value of the load dark to be 5. So we'll be connecting it to the TL of the DC machine. Then uh, 
to measure the voltage output voltage uh, we need to have a voltage measurement block uh, let us connect the plus terminal of the voltage measurement to the a plus terminal and uh, minus terminal to the a minus terminal and in order to see the waveform let uh, we will be having the scope so type scope and uh, we will change the number of inputs to be two so we will connect the first input terminal to voltage measurement block and second terminal to the input terminal to the current measurement block then we can also see the speed and the torque of the DC motor by using a bus selector so the bus selector is connected to the measurement terminal of the DC machine uh, we will choose uh, the speed and torque and uh, we can even uh, we can see the speed and torque by using a scope now uh, the circuit is ready to run and uh, before running that uh, we can uh, choose the motor parameters as the default parameters and uh, we will take the uh, voltage input voltage to be 100 for armature as well as for the field now the circuit is ready to run and before running the circuit we should use a power GUI we should have a power GUI block and let us run this model for 10 seconds so we can see that uh, the yellow line shows the output voltage and the blue line shows the output current of the uh, chopper uh, for the first five seconds uh, both the uh, voltage and the current are positive so the motor is running in the forward motoring mode and for the next five seconds the current is uh, positive and the voltage is negative wow. so it takes some time for the current to reach the positive direction uh, since uh, we have changed the uh, mode of car conduction to the next pair of devices so voltage is negative the current is positive so the motor is running in the reverse uh, braking mode we can even see the torque and the speed waveform so uh, initially the motor is uh, running in with the positive direction and then the direction of the motor is now changing towards the negative direction so from 0 to 5 seconds it is in the forward motoring mode uh, and for, from from for the next uh, 5 seconds the uh, direction of the motor it is uh, going to reverse so it is going towards the reverse braking mode so with the positive torque uh, we, would, we are getting the two modes of operation forward motoring man mode and the reverse uh, braking mode if we change the torque polarity and uh, if we again run the model then we will be getting the other two modes oh, so here the first mode of operation in which uh, we get the positive voltage and the current is initially positive but it is changing towards the negative direction and similarly uh, for the next uh, five seconds uh, we are getting both the uh, voltage and the current in the negative direction so uh, with the um, second uh, that is with a negative uh, torque load torque even uh, we are getting the reverse uh, motoring mode uh, and the forward braking mode in order to get the forward braking mode uh, we can run this uh, uh, in order to get a pro proper forward braking mode we can run this model for 20 seconds and uh, and before that we need to uh, have the time period to be 20 and the phase delay to be 
uh, 10 for the second thing and the time period to be 20. So here uh, it is uh, found that uh, the uh, forward, uh, the first mode of operation in which uh, we are getting the reverse current and the forward voltage and for the second mode of operation we are getting both reverse current and the reverse voltage so this is reverse motoring mode and this is forward uh, braking mode and uh, similarly we can see the torque and the speed waveform uh, the first thing is the forward uh, braking mode where the speed is positive and the torque is negative and the second uh, half of the uh, second half from 10 seconds to 20 seconds uh, we are getting both speed and as well as the torque negative so we are getting the reverse motoring mode so with this uh, converter uh, that is four quadrant chopper uh, which is feeding a dc motor uh, we are able to get for all the four quadrants of operation forward motoring forward braking reverse motoring and reverse braking thank you